John Kavak is here for Forum 43, and this is my take. Today, we're going to take a short take on Svol's 1953 Victrus S1 and their 1954 S1A. Now, back in the early 50s, there was a, a, a demand for sports cars. There was no easy way to get them, no inexpensive way to get them. And in particular, if you wanted to buy American, the saying was, you were going to have to build American. So uh, the 53 Corvette was available, but they only made 300 of those. They were really hard to get. Uh, so there was a company out in North Hollywood named the Hellings Company, and they made a sports car body called the Victrus S1. Now, the idea was you were going to buy the body from them um, and then build on your own chassis, put your own engine and so on and so forth in it. Uh, so it was a relatively successful, uh, they floundered at first, but in 1953, there was a movie starring uh, Tony Curtis called Johnny Dark, and he drove a Victrus S1. And boy, that just set the company on fire. Uh, they built cars, I think, for eight or nine years after that. Relatively successful. They were fiberglass bodies, uh, just like so many of the sports cars of the day were. Uh, but they were very elegantly designed. Uh, some people uh, thought that they might have been the most beautiful designs of a sports car up to date at that time. And so Asphalt's given us a 143rd version. This is the 1954 Victrus S1A. Uh, so let's put it on the turntable and take a look at it. Um, the first thing that I noticed, I, I gotta tell you, the finish is just absolutely fantastic. It is glossy, it is deep. There's a metallic finish that's kind of hard to capture on the cameras. Uh, but the metal flake is to scale. It's the third or fourth time we've seen Esfal do something amazing as far as paint is concerned. Uh, proportions on the car look good according to the pictures that I've seen. Details are excellent. There's, you know, the gas cap sits just on top of the, uh, the, uh, the rear valence there uh, to the left. And that, that's well done. The little hood uh, vent in the middle of the hood. The tie downs on the hood are done well. The side exhaust looks great. Uh, matter of fact, they even add some depth to the exhaust outlet. Uh, lensing, typical Esval, excellent lensing. The grill is very delicate, nicely picked out. Um, the wheels and tires, the, the, the wheels, uh, the tires are great. The, the wheels look good. Uh, they're, they're not great. They look good. They're accurate reproductions of the wheels we see in the pictures. But I'm going to be honest with you, you know, as far as the paint is concerned in color, uh, this was a car that you were going to paint yourself. You were going to you were going to find your own wheels and put them in. Uh, one of the outstanding attributes of this car is the interior, that uh, wood rim steering wheel. At least it looks like a uh, wood rim steering wheel is fine to scale and very delicately made. The dash is just beautiful. Uh, the boot around the shift lever is fantastic. The, the handles for the doors are picked out. And the windshield is very delicate, very nicely done to scale. So this is the S1A. Let me put up here the 1953 S1. And we'll put it next to it and let you take a look at it here. Uh, again, it's got that incredible paint. Um, and this is something that we've seen as well do before. There are differences between the two cars. I mean, obviously, they're using the same mold, but they've been careful enough to make sure that the difference between a 53 S1 and a 54 S1A uh, is pick picked out very nicely. Uh, so it's a beautiful car. Um, uh, you know, they're, they're available through, through asphalt, they're available through Legacy Motors. Let's go to the ratings. I'm not going to be able to rate everything here because these are homemade cars and it's hard to rate against uh, something that would have a lot of flexibility in how it came together. But for Fidelity, I'm going to give this a five. It's beautifully done uh, for trim and badging. Uh, thankfully, there's, there's no uh, photo etch trim running along the length of the car and so the rest of the trim and the badging and the coloring and everything, I'm going to give a five to that as well. Now, to color, as far as faithfulness to factory colors, it's just not available uh, that this would be paint. But I do want to mention again that the asphalt finish is just superb and has to be seen in person uh, to appreciate. Interior detail, five. They're over the top on that. It's a beautiful interior, beautiful dash. You can see 
uh, the gauges and you can almost feel them spinning as the car begins to accelerate. So value, bang for the buck. I'm going for a five here at 109.45. It's a really well done model. Uh, that brings us to a total of 23, and our overall rating would be a 4.5. So that's my take on Esfol's 5354 Victrus. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate your time.